finally, we have a budget-friendly option in the three-channel amp category, introducing the new Basics A3 by Emotiva. And we're gonna check it out right after the jump. Hey guys, guys, guess what? Guess what just happened? What, what happened? man? I got some new speakers. Uh, well, I'm not surprised. What'd you get? <laughs> I got the Polk R500. Why you got to one-up me? Well, you know, I got a lot of space, man, and I don't like to rock a subwoofer when I'm listening to music, so I got these towers, and they are putting out so much bass. It's awesome. Well, congrats, man. I really like the R200, so I'm sure you're gonna like those. I'm loving them already, and my wife likes them too because they're pretty compact compared to the other towers I had in here before. Hey, Michael, maybe you can get some. They're not too expensive. Maybe you can get a youth man deal. Nice, I'll have to check those out, man. I'll head over to the website now. If you wanna learn more about Polk's brand new reserve line, check the links down in the description. And I'm back. Now, first things first, I want to take this time to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. You rock. We've grown quite a bit on Patreon lately because I've been giving you guys access to Atmos demos like from the 2016 and 2018 demo disc along with the IMAX enhanced demos. And if any of you patrons missed it, yesterday, Sunday, I dropped the 2017 DTSX demo files from that disc. So if any of these things interest you, make sure you become a patron at the $5 level. Link is down in the description. All right, let's go upstairs, unbox this guy, and I'll show you even how to connect it up for those of you that don't know how to connect an external amplifier. Let's go. It's good to see the A3 comes double boxed from Emotiva. I was actually quite surprised at the weight of the amplifier as it is a little on the heavy side. Included in the box, we have a two prong IEC power cable, trigger cable, a couple of fuses, and a manual. The amplifier comes wrapped in this nice black cloth and has that Emotiva look. Brushed front with a central power button underneath the accent LED strip. The Basics A3 is a three-channel amplifier that retails for $4.99 and has a power output rating of 140 watts RMS per channel with all three channels driven into 8 ohms. On the back from left to right, we have an on-off switch for the status LEDs on the front, trigger input and trigger output for daisy chaining amplifiers. In the middle, we have three RCA inputs at the top and three pairs of binding posts at the bottom. And on the far right, we have the main power switch and power port. All right, let's get the A3 connected up just in case you need to know how to do so. For this demonstration, I will be using an Anthem MRX 720 AV receiver, which has pre-outs. Your AV receiver is going to need to have pre-outs to use an external amplifier. So I'm going to connect channels one, two, and three on the A3 to the front left, front right, and center pre-outs on the MRX 720. I'm going to route my front left into channel one on the A3. Front right is going into channel three on the A3. And the center channel is going into channel two on the A3. Now we are going to connect the trigger out on the MRX 720 to the trigger input on the A3 like so. So this is how it's going to look when it's connected up. Of course, you're going to connect the speaker cables to the external amp now, not the AV receiver like before. All right, so let's talk power amplifiers. Why would you need one and what are the advantages? First of all, we need to talk about AV receiver power ratings. Now those things are not actually like standardized. So the best one that we can look for, the best is the one with the full bandwidth signal. So you're gonna see something that says, you know, 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz into an eight ohm load with a certain percentage of THD, total harmonic distortion. You know, hopefully that's 0 0.0001. You know, you want the least amount of distortion possible, but of course that depends on the cost. Now, of course that 105 is into two channels driven. So always remember that two channels driven. But when you have seven channels, nine channels, 11 channels, 
what happens at 105 watts? It's not 105 by nine, right? So when we add a power amplifier like the Base X A3, we are guaranteeing 140 watts into three channels. Now the three most important channels of your home theater are your front left, your center, and your front right. We call that the front stage in the biz. And if you power your front stage externally with an amplifier like the Basics A3, you are guaranteeing 140 watts to each speaker all the time. So what is the biggest difference you're gonna notice? And that is going to be dynamics. You're gonna go from really quiet to really loud or from really loud to really quiet. Perfect example is like chapter 19 in the movie Seabiscuit. Seabiscuit, the movie is about like horse racing and stuff and you got horses thundering down the raceway and then it quickly cuts to some people whispering, right? So we're going from loud to soft and then we go boom, right back into the horse racing right there on the racetrack so it's loud again. So those dynamic shifts are what's going to change about your system. Another question I get asked a lot with external amplification is, is this too much power for my speakers? And I'm gonna let you guys know that it is better to overpower your speakers than to underpower your speakers. You will do more damage to your speakers if you underpower them. Now there's a lot of people that are like, oh, an AV receiver is enough, you don't need that. No, you don't need that. You know, if you have some efficient speakers, you know, and you don't sit like 15 feet away from your front stage, then yeah, you're probably gonna be okay. But if you're running like nine channels off of one receiver, you sit farther away, you've got speakers that have a sensitivity of 85 dB, 82 dB, you know, barely even getting into the 90s, then you're probably gonna have an issue with your perceived loudness at your main listening position. And this is where the power amplifier comes in. Now, a lot of people ask me, hey, my speaker is rated from 20 watts to 200 watts. What should I do? Is this power amplifier too much? And you know, my crazy ass would just put like 300 watts in each of those things because why not, right? If I got it, I wanna use it. So for normal people, I would go, you know, 150 to 250 if I could, it all depends. All right, so we've taken a look at what comes in the box. We know what this amplifier does. We know how to connect it. We know why you would want an external amplifier. So now I'm going to take my time and review this amplifier and use it in different situations with different receivers and different speakers just to kind of get an idea of what this guy is all about. 140 watts per channel into an 8 ohm load with all three channels driven for $4.99. I think Emotiva has a winner on their hands. I'm so glad they decided to do this. And of course, thank you you Emotiva for sending this over for me to review. I can't wait to run it through all of my demo material. Well, if you guys have any questions about this or anything else, let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on social or email, whichever you like to use. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad and I'll see you next time. <laughs>